Hello, my name is Monica Bednarek and I teach Corpus Linguistics using Lawrence Anthony's and Kong software. This is a little video showing you how to do a collocation analysis using and Kong software. As you can see here, I've already loaded my corpus files into the software. In this case, um, it's 15 files and they're actually political speeches, 15 political speeches. So um, the first thing that I'm going to look at is the tool preferences, um, firstly for word list. This is because um, this version of AntConc jumps to the word list first before doing a collocation analysis and in the word list settings I'm just going to make sure that I've treated all data as lowercase because I'm not interested in differences between words that depend on whether or not the word is spelled with an initial capital or not. I also have to make sure that I treat that um, click that in the uh, collocation preferences settings. The other thing that I'm going to do here is, apart from leaving everything as it is, is I'm going to click the collocation measure because I'm interested in having that as a display option so that I can actually sort my results according to the statistical measure. Talking about statistical measures, this is also where you can change that. So you can change whether or not you're inter using um, the MI score statistics or the T score statistics to do a collocation analysis. I'm going to leave it here as MI score. Just going to press apply now. So in order to do a collocation analysis, um, I need to of course go to the collocation um, collocates tab. I'm interested in looking for collocates for the word American in these speeches. Here you can see that you can um, change the span. So I'm interested, um, I'm going to just um, apply a typical span from four words to the left to four words to the right of the of the node word. It's quite a typical span, four to four, five to five, also a typical span. Um, I'm interested also here you can see minimum minimal collocate frequency. I'm actually only interested in collocates that occur at least twice in my corpus. So this is what you can change here, the, the span, how many words to the left and to the right of the node word and the minimum frequency of the collocate. The other thing that you can change here is the sorting. So at the moment what's going to happen is that the output will be sorted according to frequency of the collocate. I'm just going to leave it as it is to show you what happens. Of course, um, so once I've checked my settings, I'm just going to press start. You can see here that it does need to jump to the word list tool first. And that's why it's important that the settings in word list and collocate are similar. Um, so here we are now. Here's the collocate output. What you can see is, um, first of all, it is sorted according to frequency. So you've got very frequent collocates first, less frequent collocates later. You can also see that we can look at what um, collocates occur to the left and what collocates occur to the right frequently. And of course, we have the statistics near my score. For example, here you can see that American people is a frequent combination. So people is a very frequent right hand collocate. Also, um, American Dream, American Promise on the right hand side as collocates. So, Dream and Promise as collocates um, for American in these speeches. And African American, so African being a left hand collocate for American. So, we can also look at others, of course, as we scroll down. So, this is interesting, um, but it also makes um, sense to change the sorting sometimes. So, not according to frequency but according to statistical significance and I can do this here so I just um, do sort by statistics and I click start again and it's resorting it and you can see that the list is quite different so statistically speaking quintessentially is um, quite significant collocate major Hispanic hero birthright betting um, available as well but you can see that quintessentially actually only occurs twice in the corpus and major um, as well and Hispanic only three times. African American on the other hand is um, occurs nine times and is also still um, quite statistically significant so you can combine frequency and statistical um, settings as well to just explore these collocates and um, also remember that you can actually look at um, the uh, concordance lines by just clicking on the uh, on the collocate so if I click on dream I can um, I can see and it's quite interesting because here I can see that they're not all occurrences of American dream 
um, remember that um, the collocate setting was within the span of 4L and 4R. So actually they just occur around um, the word American, but not necessarily pre-modifying, um, not necessarily being pre-modified by American. Anyway, this, this is um, just where you can explore your collocates further doing a concordance analysis. So in brief, this is how you can um, do a collocation analysis using um, ANCONC.